Hi guys, it is a cold yuck, bleh, night here in the end times in paradise on Thursday night, September 22nd, 2016. So, as you may or may not be aware, September 22nd, today, is yours truly's birthday. Yes, uh, 57 turns of the screw. I am celebrating me and the little dog sitting here uh, tonight enjoying a spicy meal and I bought me a bottle of wine, Alex Elman wine. I made it about two-thirds of the way through this bottle of wine. So anyway, guys, I cannot believe it. It has finally happened for... For years, I've been trying to remember to do this rant. For anybody out there who is not familiar with this book, The Secret Language of Birthdays, Your Complete Personology Guide for Each Day of the Year. For anybody not familiar with this, uh, with this book, uh, and, and, and I want to make it clear, guys, that I am not one of these clueless moron believers in goddamn astrology, in numerology, and tarot, and, and all of this shit. But uh, I just want to read the September 22nd. The September 22nd. Uh, <laughs> Read out from the secret language of birthdays. And you don't have to buy the whole book because I'm going to put the, uh, the link on here. I highly encourage you guys, if you've never done this, I actually stumbled upon this amazing uh, book uh, about 15 years ago. But of course it is now on online. So I'm going to put the link on here to the secretlanguage.com and what you can do is just follow uh, the links to, uh, you, you go on there and now of course it being September 22nd, it'll come out today, <clears throat> but you can do this for yourself or for you and your, your romantic partner. Since, of course, I have no romantic partner, I don't, I, I can't do that. So all you do is, uh, what does your birthday say about you? So you go on the link, and if you just want to find out about yourself, you, you just go on and, and follow the links. You'll put in the month. All they need is the month and the day. They don't need the year or the time, anything about that. So uh, I just went in and put in September 22nd. What does your birthday say about you, Hambone Little Tail? Okay. This is... Uh, my personality traits, individual, perceptive, well-directed, and how about acerbic, dark, and guarded. Acerbic, dark, and guarded, among others. Uh, okay. Let's see how... Uh, Let's see, what is the advice? My meditation is Buddha just sat under a tree and let the whole world come to him. Here is advice for people born today. Do not despise those who are more open and gullible than yourself. <laughs> Can you say clueless Fucking morons and bliss ninnies. Do not despise those who are more open and gullible than yourself. That, that is the number one piece of advice 
Uh, number two, get in touch with your own innocent nature. I like number three, try not to box yourself in to one kind of outlook. Try not to box yourself into one kind of outlook. There you go. And of course, I need to give myself time to dream and to recharge. Okay, getting to the heart of the matter. Uh, okay, what is the Hambone Little Tail personality? Those born on September 22nd have a restless drive to begin all sorts of new projects. Usually, they bring the one they are working on to completion, but immediately set on a, out on a new one without rest. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Those born on this day have a low boredom threshold and consequently demand challenging people in situations. They can be outgoing and dynamic types at one time, and solitary and unapproachable at other times. In either case, their strong character is unmistakable. <clears throat> uh, often, September 22nd people oscillate between an offensive and a defensive posture. Anyone who's ever uh, read my comments to trolls in one sense, such postures may be one and the same since a good offense is the best defense and vice versa. But whether in a broad social context, can you say YouTube, or on a personal level, the issues and ideas that those born on this day are most often concerned with involve fairness and equality in general matters pertaining to the delegation and exercise of power. Can you say planet eaters? Can you say the new world order taking down a planet? In putting forth their arguments, they can be very ironic, witty, and outright funny. Their humor, however, is not for everyone, as it is liable to be offbeat, sardonic, perhaps even macabre. Hmm, do you think so? <clears throat> Offbeat, sardonic, and macabre sense of humor. Mm -hmm. September 22nd people can display a disturbing lack of stability. Although they may be involved in quite respectable professions, can you say real estate agent and journalist and Christmas tree salesman? One gets the idea that the profession itself or whatever work they do in general, can you say doomsday prophet, environmental alarmist, and the chronicler of the collapse and fall of global industrial civilization lends the consistency their lives so desperately need. Those born on this day can be at risk when their restless nature brings them into conflict with the powers that be. Hmm. Conflict with the powers <laughs> that be.
Yep, what was my rant about today about the the rebel coming into conflict with America's Got Talent? September 22nd people think for themselves and will not tolerate others, particularly those of lesser intelligence. Can you say clueless fucking morons trying to tell them what to do. Therefore, they must be careful not to arouse enemies and antagonize their colleagues. Imagine that, Hambone Little Tail, arousing enemies and antagonizing my colleagues. Those born on September 22nd can hide a warm heart under a forbidding exterior, but generally will only open up to people whom they deeply trust and value, which is why you see this big crowd hanging around me, is my ability to open up to people whom they deeply trust and value. Even then, they may find it difficult to open all the way, however, principally because their orientation is highly realistic and the ironies of life are all too visible to them. This day, indeed, carries insight and clarity of vision, both literal and figurative. September 22nd people are excellent judges of character and capable of sizing people up very quickly. Can you say clueless fucking morons? Those few friends whom they allow into their inner sanctum they value most highly usually for life. Mm -hmm. September 22nd people can often have a greater effect on those around them than they realize and indeed can register a high degree of shock value. <clears throat> Because of their often disturbing impact, they should seek to be more aware of their effect on others, both friends and foes alike. True warriors in the battle of life, they must take stock of their armaments and defenses, using them judiciously and effectively and avoid isolating and alienating themselves from the daily world of human values. Avoid isolating and alienating themselves from the daily world of human values. Can you say clueless fucking morons? Leading into the health summary <clears throat> from that last sentence, those born on September 22nd must beware of the depressive effects of isolation. There you go. Here's the, here's the crowd hanging around with me on my birthday. Yes, your old depressed collapsitarian must be aware of the depressive effects of isolation. Also, they should avoid attracting the animosity of others whether in the form of bad vibes 
or physical violence. I was pointing out in my rant today about this little rant that I did about America's Got Talent that I honestly believe that if I were to encounter some of these trolls who I have riled up talking trash about America's Got Talent, that they would kill me. I honestly believe this. Because of their restless nature, they may be accident-prone and inflict all kinds of minor hurts unwittingly on themselves and others. Paradoxically, they may also display a talent for healing. This is, let's move on to numerology. Uh, I, I have less faith in numerology than I do in, uh, in uh, astrology. Okay. Those born on the 22nd of the month are ruled by the numbers 4, 2 plus 2 equal 4, you get it, and 22, and, and by the planet Uranus, which is both erratic and explosive. The number 4, I always thought I was ruled by Mercury. Huh, I did not realize I was ruled by my anus. No, I, anyway, I, I guess I've always, uh, why did I think I was ruled by Mercury? But this is claiming I'm ruled by my anus, which is probably more correct. Uh, I'm, I'm almost wondering if this is a typo. Anyway, the number four typically represents rebellion. What was my what was my rant on today? I was reading from Chris Hedges' chapter Rebellion, and I'm going to come back on Sunday with Chris Hedges' rant on rebellion and why I am a rebel. Okay, uh, the number four typically represents rebellion, idiosyncratic beliefs. Hmm, idiosyncratic beliefs. We are in the end times. We are fucked. And a desire to change the rules. Because those governed by the number four so often take the opposing point of view to 99.9% of the clueless fucking morons running this planet and are remarkably self-assured, they sometimes arouse antagonism and make enemies, hmm, often secret ones. Ha. Huh. This can be especially true for September 22nd, people. Okay, now we're going to go and we're going to finish up with my favorite part of this whole thing. And this is when they move into the tarot deck. I've mentioned this many times. Take a wild guess which card I am. It is the single greatest card in the deck. My archetype. My major arcana. Take a wild guess if you're familiar with the tarot deck. Which one... Uh, of the characters out of the tarot would be Hambone Littletail's archetype. The 22nd card of the Major Arcana is the Fool. The Fool, who in several versions of the tarot is shown blithely stepping over the edge of a cliff. Some interpretations picture him as a foolish man who has given up his reason, others 
a highly spiritualized being free of material considerations. And I will, and, and, and I am proud of the fact that 99, probably 99.9% .9 of this planet consider me to be a foolish man who has given up his reason, such as walking away from a $100,000 a year job as a real estate agent and investor to become a doomsday prophet, while others, the about 0.14% of people on this planet perceive September 22nd people as highly spiritualized, being free of material considerations, otherwise known as walking away from 95% of that planet eating fucking crap that kept me enslaved for all those years. Positive meanings of the fool card include renouncing resistance and following instincts freely. The negative aspects of, of the fool card include foolish acts, impulsiveness, and annihilation. The highly evolved fool, with a capital F, the highly evolved fool has followed life's path, experienced its lessons, and become one with his own vision. There you go. Uh, I am very proud of that. Uh, that. That is my birthday present from the universe. So anyway, guys, as I say, I'm going to put the link to the secretlanguage.com and encourage you uh, to get some laughs and see how well the birthday book has nailed you to the wall. And with that, I'm going to uh, get back to my bottle of wine from uh, Argentina, my fine Argentinian wine. Ah. Bye, guys.